Today, we're making tinfoil braised pork ribs. We've got them marinated already. And if you need a marinade recipe, check them out in the description and we'll be happy to provide. Get your oven set to 425. Get a piece of foil that's big enough for the sheet pan that you're gonna put underneath the ribs to cook on. Start laying those ribs out. You can put them next to each other because they're gonna stew in their own juices. I've got six here and we're gonna put them in and then wrap them up like one of those halfway to go swans from the restaurants. And when we do that, we're gonna stick it in the oven at 425 for 12 minutes and then we're gonna lower it down to 240 degrees Fahrenheit for three hours. And that is gonna be a long solid cook for some really juicy, fall off the bone tasty kind of ribs. That's what we're talking about here. Now, if you like, you can leave a little bit of an air hole at the end there. If not, just squeeze it a little bit so that it becomes almost closed enough so that anything that evaporates inside of the tin foil gets put back in and does the braising process correctly. After they are closed up and loaded up, put them into the oven, close that thing up, and let them go for 12 minutes at 425 degrees. After that, 240 degrees for a solid three hours as you watch them cook nice and slow to a perfect steaming delicious rib. Now, if you don't happen to eat pork, you can do this with lamb and it will be just as delicious and suited to your dietary needs. And that's the great part about these base recipes here at the Do It Yourself Gourmet. You can adjust them as needed for your dietary preferences. Thanks for watching everybody and we'll see you next time.